Good evening. Welcome back to the Essential Oil Garage and You Are What You Oil. Sorry I'm getting online a few minutes late tonight. Um, turns out the way I have my camera set up, there was like a ray of light right in my eyeball and I had to figure out how to block that window. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a beautiful night here in Cabo. I am coming at you from Los Cabos, Mexico. Um, where it is extremely hot this evening, and so, uh, pardon my uh, crazy messy bun going on, it's warm to this evening. So, um, welcome back to the Essential Oil Garage. I hope that you've been joining me on some of my other uh, online classes that I've been offering, I guess, since the end of March. Um, this class is all about thieves. And we are going to get into some uh, great details on why it's necessary to kick uh, toxins to the curb, why that's important for your health, um, what the repercussions can be if you're using uh, certain chemicals in your homes and in your environment, and how incredibly easy it is to make that switch with essential oils and uh, the star of our show tonight is thieves. So I'll get right into it. Um, once again, I am Dina. I am coming to you from Los Cabos, Mexico. Um, I'm a single mom of two beautiful girls. I have had a business for many years, making uh, almost two decades, making uh, fancy custom cakes. And I love, love, love that, that business, but a few years ago, um, because I had some tremendous headaches, I reached out to a then acquaintance uh, who I'd seen doing a, a post on Facebook about essential oils because I'd heard that peppermint oil could help with my headaches. So um, I asked her how I could get peppermint oil. She suggested I could do that or I could get a starter kit of oils, which I did. And uh, in hindsight, I've said it in practically every one of my other classes and, and personal gatherings, um, it was the best decision of my life other than becoming a mom. And I am so, so grateful that, um, that I discovered essential oils, that I've been introduced to this. And more than anything, what I learned along the way is how incredibly important it is to um, be aware of what is in the products that you are using on and around your body, what you have in your home, and make better choices. So that is really what it all comes down to tonight. Um, when I started with essential oils, I didn't know what I was doing. Little by little I started learning and when I got the concept of going a chemical free home or um, going toxin free in your home, I had no idea. I had never really read the labels. I mean, you know, they were. Pro I had a, a special lock under the cabinet of my gazillion of cleaning products when my babies were little, and I was terrified they would get in there. But I never really thought there was an alternative. I didn't know there was a better choice. I didn't know there was a better. Um, there was an answer to that. And in discovering essential oils and discovering these products. It's been, I can't even, I can't begin to explain it. It sounds crazy when I say it, but it's been life changing and I know this to be true. So um, it now, it lights me up. It, uh, I'm super passionate about sharing about these things because I didn't know them. I didn't know them. If I had known better when my babies were little, I could have made better choices for them. And I thought what I was doing was good turns out I, we were drowning in synthetics. We were drowning in chemicals in, the home, in our home um, and I didn't know any better. So because I know better now, because I know how important it is, I want to share this with every single person that I possibly can. So thank you for joining me tonight. Um, that is a little bit about my story. Uh, that's how I got started and I'm super passionate about it. It's also become a beautiful business of sharing um, and hence one of the reasons why I'm here but more than anything if there's one person I can reach that can help take toxins out of their home that can help affect kids to avoid allergies, asthma, uh, you know 
who knows what kind of reactions and worse. Um, let's do it. Let's, I'm, I'm here. That's what I'm here for. So let's dive in. Let's get started. So as the world becomes more aware of what is and what isn't healthy and natural and toxin-free, uh, toxin-free products are becoming more and more popular, but are those products really safe? So according to the cancer.org site, 609,000 Americans will die from cancer this year alone, or that's 1,670 deaths a day. Now, I'm sorry, this is a, a scary stat, but it's true. I mean, we have to be aware of what we have in our environment. So let's talk about that. One in three men and one in five women will have cancer by the age of 60. Cancer is the second most common cause of death, exceeded only by heart disease. The American Cancer Society that says that only 5% of these cases are from gene defects, which means 90 to 95% of the cases of cancer are under our control. It's caused by excess weight, tobacco, or exposure to toxic chemicals. So that's what we're allowing into our homes. The National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health studied 2,983 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic ingredients. 884 out of 2,983. So 314 caused biological mutations, 218 caused reproductive problems, 146 that they know of cause cancerous tumors but were allowed in the United States. So even knowing how detrimental these are to our health, they are allowed in the product. So that's for the United States. Um, I'm not gonna go into stats for all the different countries, but in the United States those were allowed even though they were banned in some other countries around the world, okay? To protect our families, we need to begin by making changes in our homes and start with the biggest, biggest offenders first. So start with laundry soap, dishwasher soap, cleaning supplies, candles, and plug-ins. Toss the candles and plug-ins. I know that I was using those in our home thinking that it was helping it to make it smell lovely and um, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, a candle, oh, here's some stats. A candle is filled with dangerous petrochemicals says Dr. Andrew Sled, who specializes in environmental toxicology. He says that burning a candle in your home for only two hours is the same as smoking a pack of cigarettes. That's, that's terrifying to me. And I used to love having smelly candles all around our homes, you know. Um, I used to go on vacation and I would buy them and bring them back to Mexico and we would have different scents for different holidays and I know I'm not alone with this. So um, by making the swap from candles to a diffuser with say lemon oil or any of the different essential oils, you're um, supporting your immune system instead of harming it. So let's take a look at some of these products and their um, carcinogen ratings. No one else is going to be the gatekeeper of your home but you. You are the gatekeeper of your home. You need to make decisions to promote the health and prevent um, consequences, right? So here we go. Um, I'm gonna show you this graphic. I've got it in a little binder I keep, keep with me when I go to events. In 26 seconds, it says in 26 seconds is all it takes for the chemicals in your personal care products to enter your bloodstream. So what's in your products? 26 seconds. That's scary. Um, so here we go. 26, sec sec blah, 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 blah. 26 seconds after exposure, chemicals are found in measurable amounts in the human body. The average woman applies 300 chemicals a day to her body, and sometimes 80 to 100 before breakfast. So the top most, uh, top 10 most dangerous offenders of uh, dangerous chemicals in your home are air fresheners like plug-ins and candles, chemical cleaning supplies for your counters, floors, toilets, oven, drains, furniture polish, dishwasher soap, 
and dish soap are also culprits. So what do you think the number one poison in the family home is? It's laundry soap. It's fabric softener and dryer seats, sheets. So all the stuff in the laundry room is you're, you're poisoning yourself in three different ways. You're washing your clothes, you're filling your home with chemicals, then you wear the clothes all day long and you have topical exposure to the chemicals and then the clothes um, outgas in your closet all night long uh, as you sleep and you breathe the chemicals in and you're sleeping on the sheets. Um, if you make that one swap, then you go and you switch out to the Thieves Laundry Soap. I'll feel like we did a great thing this class. One change, nothing else. Well, I'm gonna suggest a lot more changes and a lot of other things, but that's an easy one, easy one. Switch out your laundry soap, right there. So other dangers in the home are hairspray, gel, shampoo, and deodorant. Deodorant with aluminum is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. And that information um, about the most dangerous chemicals in the home comes from the government study called U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Killer Household Chemicals. Not my stats, it's theirs. So, what happens when your body is chemically overloaded? Most of us feel lethargic, an inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormones, hot flashes, stress, anxiety, fear, all these things. If you face any of these issues, it's time to kick chemicals to the herb. You can control what you allow within the four walls of your home. So you can cross some of the things off your list by going as close to toxic or chemical free in your home as you can. Um, my journey started with Young Living. I didn't pay attention to the labels on my products before I started with this company. I had no idea of what I was doing to my daughters and myself and our, our fur baby. So um, I'm not saying that Young Living will change your, your health. Um, I'm saying that one of your biggest triggers is chemicals or possibly something you're slathering on your skin or breathing in or consuming, then it's time to get those things out of your home. It's very simple. So, um, prior to the class, I don't know if you had a chance to see, I posted rec uh, a recommendation of downloading an app called Think Dirty. Uh, if you haven't already done that, you can do that now. It's a free app, you download it to your phone. Uh, the Think Dirty app is an application you can use to scan products to see how they rate in terms of safety. Anything that rates six or higher, I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. If it rates between three and five, I would check out the ingredients and, make, and see what ingredients are making it rate that high. Um, and you can look them up on the Environmental Working Group website. Um, and then if that ingredient that is causing it to have such a bad rating is the last ingredient listed on the label, then you know that there's only a small amount in that product and you can take it into consideration. Personally, I only uh, like products that are rated zero through, I mean, maximum two. Uh, that app doesn't always work on the barcodes here in Mexico, but it definitely works on the ones in the United States and probably Canada, but you can check that. So if scanning the product at the store feels too time consuming, then it's time to find a company that you can trust, that has your health, and your wellness in mind and products that are safe and effective and that's where Young Living enters okay my favorite place to start is with the seed to seal promise it's on the over 600 products that Young Living offers so it's so 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 much more than just oils a um, little quick sip of water here what is seed to seal Let's talk about that. It is the standard of purity for Young Living. So um, 
That means that you will never have chemical overload using Young Living products. Never, ever, ever. You can trust this name. Uh, I've never ever come across a company, uh, and at this point I'm three and a half years in, I've been to convention, I've met people, I'm very deep into researching different things, um, and Young Living is, has the highest integrity of any company that I've ever come across, and I love that. I love that I know that when their name is on something, I know that I can trust it, I don't have to worry and dig and, and wonder, okay? Young Living uh, is an essential oils company based out of Utah. Uh, they, the one thing that sets Young Living apart from all other essential oil companies is our seed to seal promise. So let's break down what that actually means. Um, Young Living does not strip out constituents in our oils to make them smell better. We do not mix species of the same oil. We do not spray, spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or genetic or use genetically modified seeds. We spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed the lavender fields instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for the same plant. So the industry standard of $60 per acre is because spraying pesticides is much cheaper than hand weeding. But we don't do that. We also do not distill with solvents like hexane. Uh, Young Living's uh, methods for distillation, uh, which are on site at the farms at the right temperature for the right amount of time when the plant reaches its highest chemical uh, constituents, um, it's, it's, tried, it's tried to, the, all around the world, people try and copy uh, what, what we do and it's a, it's a very admirable thing and it's a beautiful thing to go to the farms too. So, our soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, glyphosate, or any poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. We harvest at the exact time of day that Young Living Research Team has found to be the ideal uh, time for that specific plant. We know when that peak is because of our extensive library on oils, the oldest and largest globally compiled from nearly 30 years of research at farms on six continents. Gary Young grew helichrysum essential oil at St. Mary's in Idaho and then Mona in Utah and then in the Mediterranean country of Croatia to watch its scores on our seed to seal testing. We don't always grow necessarily where uh, it grow, where the plant grows natively. We grow it where it grows best and produces the most effective oil for the body. So our farms are all over the world, and I can't wait to go. And you can visit them yourself, uh, any of our farms, because Young Living is transparent. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be able to go to the farms and see it and touch it and feel it and be part of it. Um, there's, there's nothing to hide. Ask any other essential oil company if they grow their own, on their own farms, what their methods are, etc., etc. You'll find that Young Living is unmatched that way. So, uh, Young Living tests eight times at the farm and then again in Spanish Fork, Utah, then uh, again after bottling. So, 24 tests per batch to make sure the uh, oils match our standards. And then third party testing with two accredited respected independent labs. Young Living Oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were hand trained by the, fi the, the founder, Gary Young himself. So Young Living is a global leader uh, in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually, um, or probably more now. Uh, that means that those that use the oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, uh, 600, well this is when uh, these stats were put together, 600 life-changing products. I know there's more now because there were just more launched at convention last month. 16 corporate and 
partner farms, more than 20 international markets and more all the time, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent uh, partner labs, and 6 million global members. I'm pretty sure that's higher now. Um, Young Living is all about integrity, hard work, and high standards, and that is seed to seal, and that is what makes Young Living different, and that is why I love this company and these products. So, with more than 20, or it's actually 26 years this year, um, it's very unique for an essential oils company, and Young Living is global, and uh, we're not going away. This is, uh, this is a movement that I am very proud to be part of. So let's get into it a little bit more. That was Seed to Seal. Throughout this class, I'm going to share some shocking news about what is lurking in your cupboard, in your cabinets. Um, I will give you safe alternative options from our Thieves line. And I'm even going to throw in some awesome uh, DIY recipes. So in this class, we're going to talk about uh, all of my favorites from Young Living, and I can show you they are very safe and also very effective. It's an easy, easy, easy thing to ditch and switch uh, in your home, and I, I know that to be true because I did it, um, and I, it, I know it will be easy for you as well. Okay, so let's talk about a household makeover. One of the number one things we all use in our homes is a household cleaner. So, according to the Environmental Working Group, a nonprofit organization uh, focused on the environmental and public health, they have a website that lists the safety information of common household products you use to clean your home. These products contain ingredients containing carcinogens, asthma instigators, and poisons which means some sparkly cleaners might come at a very, very high price. So most of the gener uh, generic cleaners contain phthalates, which interfere with our hormones, and they are carcinogens. Thieves Cleaner does not contain those big bad phthalates. Instead of phthalates, Thieves Cleaner uses, um, contains two different sulfates that are derived from coconut oil and sugar. These all natural and safe sulfates that are considered surfactants uh, contain a molecule that loves water and a molecule that hates water. So that means that Thieves Cleaner sticks to the surface and grabs the oil and washes it away easily with water. It can be used on so many surfaces, like I literally use it in almost every surface of my home. Um, counters, bathrooms, floors, toys, clothes, carpet, mirrors, windows, more. So you can spot, spot check a small area if you uh, are wondering if Thieves Cleaner will be okay on it. Um, so any new surface that you're going to try cleaning with it, you could always spot check, uh, spot clean a, a little section um, and see how it comes out. But I use it on everything from stainless steel to my floors to my leather couches to my wood surfaces to uh, ooh, I use it in my laundry. I use it, I've even used Thieves Cleaner to wash our puppy and it works really, really well. So uh, this cleaner is also insanely cost effective. It's highly, highly, highly concentrated. Um, so this tiny little bottle. It, all you need is a capful of the cleaner with about a cup or two of water. So it depends on the ratio that you are that you're hoping to uh, what you're trying to clean. But one small bottle will yield you about 29 to 60 um, spray bottles of all-purpose cleaner. So that's under a, a dollar per spray bottle between 50 cents and a dollar, depending on your dilution rate, and you cannot beat that price. You try and go to the grocery store, get in your car, drive down there, um, look for a perfectly clean, plant-based, uh, essential oil-infused, non-toxic cleaner, and see if you can do all of that for under a dollar. I dare you. So, um, living above the wellness line uh, and saving money all at the same time, it's a double bonus. It's a win-win. So, Thieves Cleaner comes in a small bottle um, 
then you can even get a larger bottle uh, in the United States, maybe in Canada, I'm not sure, we don't have that larger size in Mexico yet, um, but you can, uh, you can also get it in the tiny little guy uh, that comes in the kit in the United States and I think Canada. Um, but this little spray bottle, you can use it for shopping carts, public tables. I mean, I've used it last minute as a, as a you know, hand spray um, when I've been in a pinch. Um, it's brilliant. So, uh, you know, some of the new uh, things that are starting to come out for entering a public space and they try and spray you down, I'm, I'm really wishing that they'd be spraying me with thieves instead of the toxic stuff that's in those things these days. So. Uh, we all need to keep an eye out for that. Uh, Thieves Cleaner uh, comes, like I said, in the 14.4 uh, ounce bottle or a 64 ounce uh, larger bottle in the United States. It also comes in the one ounce small spray. Uh, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to make up a spray bottle of Thieves. Okay, so we have a spray bottle that takes two cups of water. We have our bottle of thieves, which I just realized I didn't have, don't have an open one. I'm going to take a cap full from here. My open one's actually under my kitchen sink. So this is all you do to make up a bottle of thieves cleaner. You take one tiny little cap full, one cap full of thieves cleaner, dump it in there. And then fill this up with water. As I'm pouring it all the way down my hand, that's nice. I suppose I could have used a funnel, but hey, it's hot out. Getting an extra shower in. There you go. We now have. A perfectly amazing, that, by the way, if you haven't tried it, it smells like Christmas. This cleaner will clean every surface in your home. So how long did that take me? I didn't have to get in my car, go to the store, try and find something that's, that's uh, non-toxic. I know that I can count on this every single time. So there you go. Thieves cleaner. It's a brilliant, brilliant thing. Okay. So we are going to do a really, really fun, another DIY. So that was cleaning, making a bottle of Thieves Cleaner. That took me, what, 30 seconds? Longest part was pouring the water in. Um, a quick and easy recipe for deep cleaning with your Thieves Cleaner. So the recipe is, I'm going to post it in um, the comments after the class. As well, I am going to uh, leave a graphic. So I'm going to show you it's toilet and sink soft scrub. So it's a really, really easy recipe. It's a lot of fun to make, actually. You can even get your kids in on this. So the ingredients are, here, let me move out of the way. Can you see me? Okay. Let me move this over. I have a bowl. I feel like I'm, I should be in my kitchen right now. So I have a bowl, and it has pre-measured three cups of baking soda, okay? Into that, you know what I just realized? I didn't bring a um, whisk, but that's okay. We're going to wing it. So into that, we are going to put three quarters of a cup of Thieves Cleaner. That's actually a lot. This is a lot, but this recipe is going to make enough soft scrub to clean sinks, toilets, ovens, everything that you need to scrub and it's going to last for a very long time. For me, and we do a lot of cleaning, um, it lasts probably a couple months. And then you're adding in one tablespoon of distilled regular white vinegar. Okay, it's going to bubble up. I don't know if you can see that. And you're going to add in 30 drops of Young Living Lemon Essential Oil. It's backwards, but 30 drops. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yay! And then all you do is mix it up. Now normally I would do it with a um, whisk so that you get it really well done. But it's just like mixing cake batter, really. <laughs> um, you're going to mix it really, really well. It's going to feel kind of a little bit dry at the beginning. And then the more you mix it, it kind of goes frothy and cre creamy. And then you're going to store it airtight in our, some kind of container, preferably not plastic. I just generally repurpose um, old, like, spaghetti jar, like, you know, spaghetti sauce jars or um, something like that. Some kind of large size glass jar. I usually keep one in the kitchen sink uh, and one in the bathroom. And then I've got it always on hand for uh, using it. So I don't know if you can see this. It's starting to go kind of creamy. It's not so dry anymore. It would actually be way better if I'd remembered to bring um, a whisk from my kitchen. But <laughs> I'm actually working up a sweat here. Uh, anyway, this beautiful cleaner, I don't know if you can see that. That is the soft scrub made with baking soda, non-toxic thieves cleaner, a little bit of vinegar, and lemon oil. It smells amazing. Like, it actually smells like it could almost be edible. Don't eat it. But that will scrub down every surface that you need that's greasy, uh, toilets, uh, sinks, anything you need to scrub. It's brilliant, okay? So there's a fun little DIY. That's the soft scrub. So the ingredients were three cups of baking soda, three quarters of a cup of Thieves Household Cleaner, um, one tablespoon of distilled vinegar, and 30 drops of lemon essential oil. Young Living, of course. That's it. And you can clean everything. Between the soft scrub and the Thieves Spray, you've basically just covered almost every single surface in your house. And you're cleaning with pure, 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 plant-based, non-toxic, gorgeousness. So, let's move on. Um, I'm going to also share in the, so it can actually be used for, kept in an um, airtight container or jar for up to three months, but we go through it. But it's a big batch, but it'll last you quite a while. Um, so there you go. You can also make up a DIY natural whitener. So it's like um, a homemade bleach without the chlorine. Uh, so when life gives you lemons, you can make an all-natural whitener. You can skip harsh chemicals and make a safe and effective whitener and use it in your laundry, in your bathtub, or any other surface that needs brightening. I will share the recipe written uh, after the class, and I'm not going to do that demo right now. But really, really quickly, the ingredients that you need are three quarters of a cup of hydrogen peroxide, a quarter cup of, of lemon juice, actual lemon juice, 10 to 15 drops of Young Living essential oil, uh, lemon essential oil, uh, three quarters of a cup of baking soda, and seven cups of water. So then if you've got, I usually use my uh, Ninja Red glass uh, bottles. I'll mix it all up and then I'll have the glass bottles in the laundry room and I have the best non-toxic whitener. It's awesome. I love it. So you combine it all uh, in a container of holding a half a gallon or more. You're going to shake it well before each use and then you're going to use about a cup per load with hot water uh, for best results. That quick and easy. You can get deep six the bleach. You don't need those neurotoxins in your home. So, a bathroom makeover. Let's move on. Let's chat about, chat about your bathroom products and what you are putting in your mouth. The FDA has not determ uh, determined, uh, defined the term natural and has not established a regulatory definition of this term in cosmetic labeling. So, at the FDA.gov uh, slash cosmetic slash resources for you slash industry blah 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 I will leave the link uh, in the um, comments after uh, there is a website you can go to and you can um, understand that term natural and how it's 
very, very, very loosey goosey. What was that? Sorry. It's windy. Um, this means that it's a very loose term, and when it's used on your personal and natural care products, be very careful and do not be fooled. Uh, it's clever marketing, basically. So please know what is in your products. The FDA has banned the chemical triclosan, for example, in hand soaps. This chemical was not proven uh, effective or safe for antibacterial hand soaps. However, this chemical is still being used in toothpaste and teeth whitening products, antiperspirants, deodorants, shaving products, and creams. Can you please explain that to me? Can anybody explain that to me? So they banned it from hand soap, but they let you put it in your mouth and on your skin. Hmm. So it wasn't proven safe to use and no, and it's known to cause an interaction with hormone receptors um, and cause other health concerns. So why is it still in our products? We need to ask these questions, we need to be aware. So I can guarantee you that harm harmful chemical is never in any of Young Living's products. Young Living oral care products are also designed with the technology to clean and freshen your breath throughout the day. So the one that I use most and what is available in Mexico is the Thieves Aroma Bright Toothpaste. I've been using this for um, over three years now because it was exactly three years ago in July that I discovered a hack and I'd seen somebody saying you could use your toothpaste as a deodorant. And I was like, well, what do I have to use? I thought that sounded really weird. Uh, but I thought I'd try it. So it was July and I had, was going for a run around the marina and um, so I washed, washed and dried my pits, put a, like a pea size of the um, Thieves uh, toothpaste under my armpits and it feels really tingly and fresh because it's got peppermint in it. Um, I went for my run and for all intents and purposes it wouldn't, if I had not had deodorant on, it should not have been pretty. Like, I would not have been a pleasant smelling person to be around. Um, and after the fact, I, uh, I asked uh, who I was with to check. And um, I didn't, I was like, can you smell? Can you smell? Okay. Uh, didn't smell bad. Asked my daughter to come on. She was like, Mom. I said, please just come and check. And uh, smell great. So I've been using this toothpaste, so it does double duty. It is my a awesome toothpaste. Uh, it also is my deodorant, my personal deodorant now for three years. I love it. I just don't use it on freshly washed, uh, freshly shaved pits. Uh, it's actually triple duty because you can use this also. I've used it for cleaning jewelry. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay. So uh, other products you can use in your bathroom are the Thieves Dental Floss, the um, mouthwash, uh, there's a whitening toothpaste, um, and a toothpaste hack. Well, yeah, that was the hack. You can uh, use it as your deodorant. There you go. So you're saving even more money because you don't need to buy deodorant anymore. And uh, you are saving your health because you are no longer exposing yourself to uh, the aluminum and nasty, nasty chemicals that is in uh, store-bought deodorant. So let's do, uh, move on to a kitchen makeover. Time to talk kitchen. So you may think, why do I need to worry about the soap I'm using to wash my dishes? I'm not eating them, uh, eating them or putting it in my body. And that is correct, you aren't eating the plate for lunch. However, you do put food on your dishes and the food picks up the um, detergent residue and then you in, in turn ingest that. So that means you are ingesting your detergent. So uh, you also inhale the chemicals from the dishwasher when it releases from washing. And um, you are, you, when you're washing dishes, if you're hand washing, you are getting it onto your skin. So you are therefore absor absorbing it. So um, it's time to switch over to the Thieves Automatic Dishwasher Powder if you're using a dishwasher. 
Um, and if you, uh, we don't have it yet in Mexico, but I have faith it's coming soon. The Thieves uh, dishwasher soap is the best stuff I've ever used. I love this. So the entire family can use it. And um, if you, the, the entire family can use the, the Thieves products in the kitchen. And you know that they're safe for everybody. So you can easily swip out your not so safe dishwasher soap. Uh, and use the Thieves dishwasher soap. It's a powerhouse cleaner uh, that has jade, lemon, bergamot, clove, lemon, cinnamon, rosemary essential oils. It contains one of the most gentle surfactants around uh, and it's often used in baby shampoo. It's called decal glucoside and it's perfect for even the most um, sensitive of skins. So me, who I've always had issues with, uh, with my skin and hand washing, this even doesn't bother my hands. So, do not be fooled by bubbles when you are washing things. So, um, when, because this doesn't bubble up, that means that they didn't add, add the harmful chemical that makes the bubbles. If you can't get over washing your dishes without bubbles, you can um, use a hack on this one, which in fact, I take about that amount of the dishwasher, so, uh, the, the, the soap, and then I uh, pour the rest out, and into here I'll put a couple tablespoons of baking soda, and then I fill it up with water. So I get probably between eight to 10 bottles out of one of these. I can make it stretch and stretch and stretch, and it still washes my dishes fabulously. Um, and with the baking soda in there, that makes it bubble. So there you go. Um, you are, some people say to use two thirds of the bottle, uh, pour out two thirds and leave a third in, but I use less. So you can do whatever dilution you want, but um, I make it stretch a really long way, especially because we don't have this in Mexico yet and I have to bring it with me when I travel or find a way to get it here. But Okay, so you can add baking soda and it makes a bubble. There you go. Um, so other things you can use in your kitchen are the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Spray. There's a Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak. And there's the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. This hand soap is the best thing I've ever used. I love, 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 love it. It comes out already really foamy. Um, and it's super soft on your hands, especially now washing hands, like how many times a day are you washing your hands? I hope a lot. Uh, it never dries my hands out and it smells awesome. So, Thieves Hand Soap, another one. Um, the laundry makeover that you can do, remember what I talked about earlier about some of the, the nastiest um, chemicals in your home? A, one of those is the laundry detergent and that is a very easy switch okay um, using a safe laundry detergent means one more step to living above the wellness line so one of the things that the easiest and first things you can replace is the um, your laundry detergent and replacing laundry detergent and dryer sheets with toxin-free products means there's no more, more wearing clothes or rolling around on sheets that are filled with chemicals 24-7, okay? These chemicals are transferred onto your skin, like I mentioned and, mentioned, and absorbed into your system. You don't want that. So, what you want is something that cleans beautifully and naturally, and this beautiful little bottle does it. So, it seems small in the same way that the Thieves Cleaner seems small, but in the same way uh, all Young Living products are wildly highly concentrated. So this bottle actually is meant for 64 loads, but I have a hack that turns it into about 180, which is awesome. So um, when you get home, well, I guess if you are at home and you've got the Think Dirty app, and if you're still using things like uh, store-bought laundry detergent and dryer sheets, I dare you to scan them with that app and see what they come up saying. Yeah, keep track of that score and uh, you can make a, dis a decision on if you wanna keep using it or if you wanna just deep six it and try something that's actually gonna protect your health. So, 
Uh, it's common to see harmful chemicals like sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS in detergents. That's the foaming agent that's been linked to the irritation of skin and eyes, organ toxicity, de develop, blah, 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 develop, what? developmental and reproductive toxicity, neurotoxicity, endocrine, endocrine disruption, try my tongue here, uh, and biochemical or cellular changes. So endocrine dis disruption means that it's messing with our hormones and our hormones dictate everything so um, we don't want that uh, we don't want the biochemical or cellular changes and we do not want the possible mutations and cancer that can be caused by um, by these products okay the store-bought stuff so there is some controversy o over whether SLS is safe or harmful, but to be honest, if there's any question that it could cause the things listed above, I'm gonna avoid it. I don't know about you. So, okay, moving on. Air fresheners, okay. This is a very big theme, uh, theme for me because I used to use Febreze and plugins and have smelly candles. Um, who doesn't love, you know, candles and leaving your home smelling amazingly clean and fresh, right? So uh, I'm gonna share with you also in the comments following this class, um, the link to an ewg.org reports, and that is to the Cleaners Hall of Shame. Uh, and you'll be able to explore that and see that air fresheners are some of the worst culprits. So, be aware. The term fragrance can be composed of hundreds of ingredients, but under the US regulations, those hundreds of ingredients can be listed only as fragrance. And they don't need to tell you what's in it, okay? That is because um, you don't know what you don't know what you're getting when it just says fragrance or if it says parfum. You don't know what you're getting, uh, so because it's proprietary uh, information and it, the the manufacturers are protected by law. I don't love that. FDA.gov/cosmetics products and ingredients. I will share another link with you. Um, when you see the ingredient fragrance. You don't know what you're getting. And it's no wonder so many people get headaches when they're around air fresheners and perfume. That was me. That was why I started my whole journey. I didn't even know about the chemicals causing my headaches. I didn't ever know, ever since university, and I had studies done and doctors couldn't tell me what it was. Um, but I was drowning in synthetic chemicals. I didn't know it. And that's why I started with, all I wanted was, remember? Peppermint oil. And here we are. And it's a beautiful thing to know better and be able to do better. So be courteous, not only with your own health, but your visitors' health as well. And replace your uns well, and your visitors and your children and your you know and your fur babies. Um, replace your unsafe air fresheners with can and candles with safe diffuser. This one is my new. You can see it in the back there. This is my gorgeous. She's our new uh, addition to the family. Her name is Lucia. Um, she's a little bit far, so she looks really tiny, but she's so pretty. Isn't she pretty? Welcome, Lucia. Um, and you can use your diffuser. So I've got diffusers in literally every room in the house. And you can use your essential oils. So you are promoting your health. You are promoting your immunity. You are helping your respiration. You're helping with allergies. You're helping with mood. Um, it's amazing. You can purify the air. So not only are essential oils safe, but they are effective as well. You can use a scent like lavender, not only to fill your room with fresh aromatic bouquet, but you can also use it to calm your mood um, and help you get a restful night's sleep. I um, use lavender literally every single night in my diffuser along with cedarwood and then mix that in other different oils. Love it. You can diffuse thieves, lemon, or purification oils to eliminate odor and uh, provide an up 
lifting scent and purify the air. So you can use thieves in the air. I love combining it with orange oil. It smells like Christmas and you are literally helping to purify the air. So these days when there are issues with possible airborne uninvited guests, it's a really good thing if you can be purifying the air and uh, supporting your immunity at the same time, right? Okay, so here's some more fun ideas how to use thieves in your home. You can put it undiluted into a little roll-on and make a stain stick for your clothes with no chemicals. Um, you can pour it onto spots on carpeting undiluted and help get rid of stains. You can let it sit on pots and pans with burnt stuck on food in the bottom of them and it helps wash it right out after it's been soaking for a while. You can put a cap into the spray bottle and use it for every single surface in your home. I use it in my kitchen, in my bathroom, counter, sink, stove, bathtub. I'll literally take this into the bathroom, spray every single thing down, use some of the uh, soft scrub in the toilet and the sinks, and every surface is cleaned with beautiful non-toxic um, stuff, and it smells amazing. One cap full into the mop bucket, uh, to clean your floors. You can uh, refresh musty carpets by putting Thieves essential oils. So we haven't actually shown you that one. Beautiful little bottle of Thieves. Best. This is the star of the show. A um, uh, drop of Thieves uh, in some baking soda uh, or any other oils that you like the smell of. And then sprinkle it over your carpets and vacuum it up. Um, you can wash your clothes with the Thieves laundry soap. Add four to five drops uh, to a dry washcloth and toss it into the dryer to make your clothes smell fresh. Um, you can put a drop of Thieves or lemon on anything sticky. Um, and so think of like sticky labels uh, that coming off a jar. Um, or anything stuck to your kid that you don't want. Um, so any sticky residue and uh, you can wipe it off. Uh, you can clean your dishwasher by running uh, it empty with just a capful of um, Thieves Household Cleaner. Okay. So all of these are stars of the show. Um, you can add a drop to, oh, I like this one. You can add a drop to the cardboard in the middle of your toilet paper rolls and have thieves freshness in your bathroom every time you use the toilet paper. Or any oil, for that matter. So, uh, we've covered a lot of the products that you can replace in your home to make it a safer place. Let's talk about how you can save money on these products because that's also very important. So. Young Living, once you are a member, they have a rewards program called Essential Rewards, otherwise known as ER. So if you're already a Young Living member, you can easily get started with the Thieves line by ordering the Thieves ER kit. Uh, it's a bundle of products through Essential Rewards that will save you an additional 15% off your already wholesale 24% off price. So 15 and 24, oh yeah, that's pretty good, I like that. Um, Essential Rewards is the smartest way to order, straight up. If you are committed to uh, going toxin-free in your home, if you want to get rid of all of those other chemicals that I talked above, um, and the smartest way to order and save money is jumping on ER. Instead of purchasing your cleaners, your toothpaste, your veggie wash, your hand soap, your air fresheners at the store, you can now essentially buy them from yourself, pay yourself, save a ton of money every month, okay? Um, it's called replacement or transfer buying. It's when you buy safe products through your Young Living account as compared to spending the same money at the grocery store on unsafe products. I don't know about you, but I like getting perfectly safe, beautiful smelling, amazing concentrated products delivered straight to my door saving a ton of money and by the way you get a ton of free stuff and I don't know about you but I love free stuff so 
Every time you order on ER, you will receive either 10, 20, or 25% off your monthly order, okay? That's points back into your account like cash for free products. Um, that's awesome, I love that. Hello, uh, so that's called free laundry detergent or uh, more free oils or free ninja. I like buying my ninja with my points. So that's way better than some stores that give 5% back. I mean, before I was happy with 2% back annually from Costco and other stores sometimes give 5% back. This is 10 at the beginning, then it jumps to 20, and then it jumps to 25% off your monthly order and that's over and above your wholesale price that's already saving you 24%. So if you add that up, um, month one through three you get, uh, the first three months you get 10% off, then it jumps to 20% from months four through 24 and from months 25 onward for life you get 25% of your order back. I love that. It's awesome. Um, so another tip for saving more money is if you pay with a personal credit card that gives you cash back or airline miles uh, or some kind of bonuses on top uh, that the points that what that Young Living already gives you. Hello. Um, so with your essential rewards order uh, of well in the United States it can be a minimum of 100 PV sorry 50 PV uh, in Canada and in Mexico it's 100 PV. If you don't know what PV is uh, and you don't have your kit yet, let's talk and I will explain that to you afterwards. Uh, but there are also, every single month, there are amazing uh, promos and they give you a ton of stuff depending on the volume that you are purchasing for yourself, for your family. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. When you switch out cleaners, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, creams, makeup, uh, supplements, nutritionals, protein powder, uh, you know, cleaners, laundry soap, hand soap, toothpaste, all of that stuff. All of that stuff gets shipped straight to your door. And it's like Christmas every month. It's so fun. Um, in fact, I have a box that just arrived and I have to dive into it. So I don't know if I'll film that tonight or maybe tomorrow and show you all the good stuff I got. It's so much fun. So, becoming, um, oh, and, oh, finally, and there's more. Uh, uh, with Essential Rewards, or ER, you get loyalty gifts. It's a loyalty program in the end, right? It's a rewards program. So, they pay you to stay on the program. That's awesome. Costco doesn't do that. Not like this. Uh, at three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months, and then every 12 months after that, they give you a loyalty gift. They send you a free oil. And at the 12 month mark every year, it's this gorgeous oil called loyalty that you can't even purchase individually. And it's beautiful. So anyway, moving on. Becoming a Young Living member. Uh, if you haven't already, talk to me after the class or whoever invited you to this class. Um, you can start depending on where you are. The different starter kit options uh, between the United States, Mexico, Canada, where, I, where my members are specifically, they can, they can differ, but um, you can either, in the United States and Canada, you can actually start with a Thieves starter kit. Uh, in Mexico, you can start with oils or ninja or a raindrop kit, and then you could jump on to ER and you can combine uh, your all those points and get your um, Thieves uh, ER kit. So there's so many ways to go about doing this. And it's ER's optional. You don't have to jump on it. You know, if you just wanted your starter kit and you just wanted to start off that way, that's great. Uh, if you want to save more money, you jump on it right away and order your other stuff, like your laundry soap and your hand. Your, oh, didn't even talk about this little beautiful one. Hello, world's best hand sanitizer, like ever. I don't even go anywhere without having this in my pocket. And I offer it to people all the time. And people are like, oh, that's so nice. What is that? It smells so good. Um, it's soft on your hands. It kills germs. It's approved by the CDC. It's gorgeous. It smells amazing. 
course, it's infused with essential oils, as always, and you can get a larger um, uh, bottle, and then I use this one to fill up my little pocket ones that I keep with me at all times. Like, literally, do not leave the house without my face mask, my hand gel, and my thief spray. It's like my uh, purse, keys, uh, wallet, and thieves. And you're covered, right? Okay, so you may not be able to control other environments you find yourself in, but you are the gatekeeper to your home, and you do decide and control what comes in and what goes out. So now that you know better, are you going to do better? So you have the information. You uh, can make those decisions in, in you know, an educated decision. Um, you can, I'm going to give you a super, super easy, super ninja tip uh, on how to switch super easy. You can ditch and switch all the stuff in your home and you can start with, uh, depending on where you are, the um, Young Living Thieves Premium Starter Kit or you can get started with any of the other starter kits and then jump on Essential Rewards and you get the Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle. You can literally throw out bags and bags and bags of um, harmful products in your cabinets and use only a few literally life-changing products instead. This is not more money. This is not extra above your monthly budget. It's not. It is instead of. Remember what I talked about transfer buying? So, for those of you that are ready to take your health into your own hands and make over your homes, um, please, please, please share with me in the comments your thoughts on this. Um, I can, in the comments, I will share a link for you to get your premium starter kit if you haven't already. If you have any questions, reach out to me at any time or contact the person that added that uh, invited you to this this class um, your premium starter kit and your products can be delivered straight to your door you don't even need to put on a mask and go to the store and deal with all of that okay I promise you your life is going to change for the better it's amazing it sounds weird until you really feel the difference okay but you will also be part of the most phenomenal community and I will be here or whoever invited you or signs you up will be there for you every step of the way okay you are never alone in this process I can help with any questions you have at any time send me a message here WhatsApp me um, if you are local you can come and knock on my door um, once you order your premium starter kit, I will connect you with uh, all the resources and the community, and uh, you will see what I'm talking about. You'll feel what I'm talking about. So I have a whole host of other classes that I have already previously um, presented, and you are super, super welcome to check them out. I've even loaded up a bunch of them onto YouTube. Um, and I just kind of wing it, go live, and I'm sharing the information, but it's awesome information. I know how important it's been to me. Uh, I hope, I hope that you got something from this class. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you following the class. Um, and I wish you a toxin-free, beautiful, natural evening, and, uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Good night.